Visit CCG Castle .com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Check read the description or visit CCG Castle for more. Hello and welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video we'll be looking at a Durant deck for the Legacy. So if you're not familiar with Durant, it's card from the Noble Victories actually and uh, this card is pretty good. I really like it. It had that Devour attack for just a single metal energy. It says for each your Durant in play, discard a top card of your opponent deck. So basically you know what that means. That means that this deck is just made to be disruptive and to uh, try to sleep your opponent with Hypnotoxic Lasers, try to get rid of your opponent energy cards and uh, pretty much play live you as the ace pack on your Durant repeatedly and constantly put it back uh, with the junk arm and revive your Durant and devote your opponent each turn for uh, four cards of top of his deck. So basically, in a uh, good setup, you need like uh, eight or nine turns to devote your opponent, and in my opinion, this is not hard. Um, for support in this deck, I'm running one Mr. Mime, who can help a lot with that bench barter, especially against Dark Rays. Also, Rotom with that uh, trick ability or pocket power actually, which says that once you're your turn, you might switch one of your face down price cards with the top card of your deck. So, just in case you have your Durant priced, you can actually, uh, if you get lucky, switch it with one of your top deck cards. And in my opinion, this is very good. Also, took Pichu as a starter. Um, for that sweet sleeping face uh, uh, pocket body, which says as long as Pichu is asleep, uh, it cannot be attacked. And also playground, which will allow both players actually to uh, fill those benches, both bench, actually until they have five Pokemons in play. And basically, they can do that or they don't don't need to do that. But with the Pichu, if you start, you don't even need to waste your energy. You can just put four Durants on your bench in turn two. You can start to devour um, for tons of cards. In my opinion, this is very good. Um, of course, uh, for support, you need to have a lot of good item cards. So I decided to take four Crushing Hammers. Of course, if you get heads, you can discard one of your opponent uh, energies uh, from play. And this is very good, because with the Junk Arms, you can actually have more than four Crushing Hammers in play. Um, having also two durable dual balls and four level balls, which will allow you to actually uh, constantly be able to search your deck for those um, Durants and put them onto your bench. So uh, flipping two coins with dual ball for each head, you can actually search your deck for um, Durant or any Pokemon basic and put it onto your bench. Escape rope times one, uh, times two actually, it's good. Um, it can help a lot. It can help a lot, trust me, um, especially against decks who actually does not have that, uh, that Keldeo in play and pretty much forcing your opponent to promote something with uh, heavy retreat cost or maybe something like a Wileplum will just be uh, very, very hard to remove from the active spot. Also, running four copies of Hypnotoxic Laser so you can actually try to sleep your opponent where you can actually get one turn of not being attacked, in my opinion. Also very good card, especially against Dex who does not have Keldeo with the Rushing and Flowstone in it. Having four copies of Junk Arm, of course, this card will cost from your hand in order to search a discard pile for a trainer card, put it into your hand. With Junk Arm, you can only put item cards and trainer cards. You are not allowed to put supporter or stadium cards, so you can only put um, pretty much item cards. Uh, also, four copies of Level Ball. Um, running two copies of Lost Remover, uh, who can actually scrap one special energy and put it into Lost Zone. This is strong, especially against those um, Thunderous Deck Securum decks or any other decks who actually play those uh, special energies because they cannot be played anymore. Uh, running two catchers, also very good because if you get heads, you can just pretty much catch one of your uh, opponent's bench Pokemon. In my opinion, very strong card. Uh, four Revive is just definitely must have in this deck. When you get knock it out, uh, you can just play revive, put back the rent on your bench, attach energy to active, hit the war and you're ready to go for four again. So also one copy of Super Oak so you can actually put back the rents once you um, lost all of your revives. But also it's good if you have like uh, Super Oak that you can just dual ball or level ball for them. One tool scrapper, you need to have that. From a supporter cards, one Colrus is good. It can be for 10, it can be for 2, it can be for 1. It really depends, but for the late game, it's definitely good. A Getsis, if you start with it, or in the mid game or late game, you can just discard tons of very valuable resources from your opponent hand. In my opinion, very strong. Same as having four copies of N. Trust me, N is just a way good card. Um, you need to have N in your deck. 
uh, but also you don't want to discard any of your cards, so running four copies of N and four copies of uh, Oak New Theory, in my opinion, is very good for this deck. You just don't want to discard any of these cards with your um, Professor's Juniper, in my opinion. Also three copies of Skyro Bridge, just for those Stadium Wars, where you can actually met those uh, Burbank City Gym with the lasers. But also being able to free retreat any of your Pokémon like Pichu, Rotom, or um, Durant and Mr. Mime because they have one retreat cost, only Pichu have three. Of course, a spec is a Life Dew in case you're being knocked out uh, and you have a Life Dew attached to your Pokémon who is knocked out, you're not going to um, lose the price, so your opponent will not take the price card. And uh, being able to play constantly Junk Home for um, Life Dew, in my opinion, is just way too good. It's just like climbing a Mount Everest for your opponent, and he probably will never um, climb to the mountain uh, to the top. Also, eight energies is a sweet spot. Having four basic energies and full uh, four metal energies special, who can actually uh, reduce the damage uh, done for ten uh, on your um, Durant, which is good, definitely, especially against Psyche Pokémon's, who can actually be reduced damage for thirty. And uh, reducing damage for 30 is just way too hard to knock out, especially because in legacy format like Mew2, hitting with the two double core synergies and one energy on Durant is like 100 damage. And you have 70 HP, and uh, in the case you have like uh, one metal energy attached, special, that means that your opponent can hit only for the 70. But in case you have two, it will not be enough to one hit Nagat your Durant. So in my opinion, it's just so strong. And pretty much that's the full deck list. I think you will definitely like it. I will uh, play just the one game with it because it's very hard to get um, pretty decent and strong opponents in the legacy format. It's not that popular online. So I will do my best to get very good a game so you can guys also enjoy watching it. But if you're looking also for any of these cards as usual, you can find them on ccgcastle.com. Don't forget to check that and also don't forget to hit that TCG Center 5 code if you're new to the channel. That will bring you a 5% discount on the purchase. So you should definitely keep that in mind. So links are in my video description. Let's move to the game test so you can actually see how this deck works in the action. Alright guys, let's do this. Let's kick off by going first if it's possible, but unfortunately looks like it's not, so my opponent actually can go first. Um, playing with Durant is better to go second. That's just my personal opinion. Um, because you can start to devour on your turn one, and that can actually give you a big advantage. So I'm starting with my Mr. Mime in the active spot. Right now it's just very important to um, pretty much get at least three Durants in my deck. Uh, if only one is priced, I can live with that. I can probably get it somehow uh, out with my Rotom. On the other side, I also have Hypnotoxic Laser and uh, Pokemon Catcher, which can definitely help a lot, especially when I have um, my opponent with the Keldeo in the active spot. So that will definitely do some job. But then I also need to get um, something very strong, so there's very good opening hands for my opponent. There's Pokemon Collector, so he can easily grab like two more Tynomos and maybe even one more Rayquaza. Uh, he actually decided to roll with one of his Zekroms, which is very smart. On the other side, yeah, I mean, the Zekrom a uh, bolt strike and hit for 120. Unfortunately, it will do 40 damage to itself. Uh, pretty much two uh, bolt strikes will be enough. So, uh, two ball strikes will be actually enough to uh, had a lot of da uh, had enough damage for that outrage. So, let's see what I can get with my dual ball. Hopefully, at least one heads and no, just two tails. And I definitely need to play my John Carm again right here for um, Life Dew. And unfortunately, Professor Zoak New Theory, I desperately need to get a dual ball at least. So I can get my Pichu in play and uh, tries to set up. So there is Pichu and there is a, a Rotom. So I'm going to play both of them. And uh, I'm going to play my Sky Iro Bridge. So let's see. One of my prizes. 
is that maybe Durant, who knows? So I'm going to retreat and I'm going to put three Durants with the playground on my bench. Unfortunately, my opponent will not be able to. Um, oh, look at this. I actually managed to grab Durant and put it on my bench. This is big score right here. I should definitely say that. So uh, with two, three Durants on my bench and actually um, maybe getting one. I mean, he can definitely grab pretty much some basic Pokemon and put them um, under his bench. But his bench is full, so I definitely scores right here. And I wake up, so he can even knock out my Pichu right now. But I guess it's not a big deal. As long as I have my Durant ready to uh, devour. Um, pretty badly that I didn't get first time that dual ball. It would be definitely great thing just because I would have that um, live duel in play. And also, of course, uh, Oak New Theory, but right now I don't have Oak New Theory, so I cannot play it. Um, there's a bicycle for four, really like that. Bicycle is a very nice um, tech in any kind of legacy decks because it can easily be played with uh, multiple times with John Carr. Um, there is a Professor Oak New Theory, it's not N, so I'm not going to get anything. So hopefully I can top deck something good, something like um, any kind of supporter card. Looks like the final point will not be able actually right here to take some damage. He's stuck in the active spot with his, with his Keldeo, so I need to definitely somehow get heads right here, retreat, um, use my Devour for tree start to discard some cards from my opponent deck. Oh, there's a Tails. There's a Tails, but at least there is Oak New Theory, so I might be able to get that Escape Probe. Um, no sign of Escape Probe, but there is Crushing Hammer. I need really heads, so I can discard it 5 energy from his Rayquaza. And I'm going to pass. So, I definitely miss that Devour, which is bad, but also um, when Pichu is asleep, he cannot be attacked by any Pokemon in play. Um, so there's good Pucky Body. It's actually um, not Pokemon Power or Ability. It's Pucky Body. So my opponent can actually just pass the turn, and my bitch will be knocked out. And then I can start to use my Devour. So I'm pretty happy with that. There is one Lighting Energy. So how desperately he looks when he actually decides to attach one Lighting Energy on his Keldeo, and there's Bianca for three. He needs to find the way, um, he definitely needs to find a way to actually retreat. So retreating with two energies will definitely help him a lot. There's energy switch for that light, uh, fire energy. Um, not, I definitely need to get um, more draw support. So I can actually get more crushing hammers and more chance to uh, knock out those energies from his kill during the echo spot. So let's take a look as the top deck is just Revive, and I don't want to play Revive, I will just uh, attach one of my Metal Energies and go with the War for Tree, so let's see what I can discard. Um, Super Scoop Up, very nice, and one Electric, so I'm pretty happy with uh, discarding those three cards. I think one, one other card was actually, it was not Energy Surge, but maybe Flow Stone. There is Super Road, so he can definitely bring back that uh, Fire Energy and Electric in his deck. So he's down to 27, which means that I need like uh, almost 9 turns. Oh, there's Skyla, so if he can hit Skyla for maybe Energy Surge or Flow Stone, he can retreat. There's a Flow Stone. So, um, meaning that he needs just one more Lighting Energy to be able to one-hit knock out my Durant. That's not going to happen, which is good. So he can pretty much hit for 60 and go with Celestial Roar. So he is not in good position at all, that's for sure. Um, there's another Float... Oh, right now there's a Float Stone rush in. And probably pass the turn. So I definitely need that... Alright, so um, pretty much logic. He can discard energy. I can play my crushing hammer and surprise him back if I get heads by discarding that fire energy again from his Rayquaza. So I disable that Rayquaza again. I will play one more metal energy just because I can and I won. So, oh, 
another fire energy just been discarded, so that means that my opponent have tiny chance to attack with his Rayquaza. He definitely wants to power up that Sacrum and start to apply some pressure with Sacrum. Um, he definitely needs to use that Sacrum. That's just my opinion. And finally, he managed to put some energies on the Sacrum. As I mentioned earlier, um, use two time ball strike and then just go with your um, outrage. But then. I can also knock out his Zekrom by playing my Hypnotoxic Laser, so it's not all that easy as it seems to be. So that was the um, Oak New Theory for 7. Good thing is that he don't have any of his energies and yeah, pretty much Outrage for 20. Not a lot of damage. I will definitely just uh, oh look at the top deck another du uh, Durant so this will be a Devour for four he's going down to fifteen oh I see some more fire energies in this pile that's definitely huge so he's down to fourteen I have that revive in my hand he needs to grab like five more prizes and I think that that's probably not going to happen today he can rush in retreat. And he can take one prize by knocking out my Durant with his um, Rayquaza. Then Dragon Burst will do enough damage. So there's 120. I will just respond back by playing my Revive for 4. So there's revive, and I'm going to put another Durant on the bench. Unfortunately, I need to get desperately um, John Karn for that live view. So there is random receiver discarded. Same as two more energies. Energy is definitely good. I mean, he can actually use them with uh, that uh, electric. So he can right now power up to three energies from um, those. Dynamotors on his um, Rayquaza and uh, take the knockout. So he needs to take four more prizes. If I can hit at least one life due, uh, this game will be uh, pretty much GG for my opponent. I'm 100% sure uh, he will lose that game. So all I really need is just a single life due, and this game is over for my opponent. Also, good thing is that I have Revive ready uh, sitting in my hand which will give me the chance to do uh, the war again for 4 after being knocked out from um, that Dragon Burst for um, 170 actually. Um, quite a lot of damage. Quite a lot of damage. So I'm going to promote another Durant into the active. I have exactly enough resources so far so I'm going to play that revive again and the question is do I really want to play my end right here and the question is yes why not I will help a little bit to my opponent but I definitely need to get that chance first to of course remove that um, flowstone from my opponent Keldio and second of course to get that ability to uh, chase that junk arm actually and uh, grab that life due which can actually give me a um, chance to discard four cards being knocked out without my opponent taking a price. So uh, this is definitely a good move in my opinion. And he's down to eight. I don't see... I see just single M. Let's say that he played two Ns and there's a junk harm which is very huge because he's forced to discard like two cards from his hand in order pretty much to take a float stone so he can actually get that chance to retreat with his Keldeo. But a good thing is that even when he take the knockout right there, he will not take the price card and he have just a single card in his hand. Meaning that um, I can devour for three and after that I can devour for um, two. <sighs> it will be close, not sure if I'll be able to take enough divorce to uh, deck out my opponent before he actually managed to take three prizes, but if I can hit one more junk harm, I guess this will work, so I guess I need like uh, one more junk harm or pretty much 
yeah, pretty much one more junk card will do the job, so that's pretty much all that I need at this moment. So, the Zekrom this time, 420. Bolt Strike, very interesting. Actually, 410. Of course, I'm going to promote my Durant with uh, special metal energy, and uh, there is a Hidden Toxic Laser, and I can definitely use that. And uh, let's play Devor for 3. So he's going down to 4 cards, and uh, after this turn he is going to take one more prize. I will just have 2 Durants in play. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd be able to deck him out. I'm very close to do that. That's for sure. There is rushing with the Keldeo, then he can actually retreat. Uh, knock me out with his Rayquaza. He cannot still use that Outrage, it's not enough for the knockout. Uh, it will be uh, 10 damage short because I have that Metal Special Energy, which can actually reduce the damage for 10. So he's down to 4 cards. There is Zekrom. Oh, oh, he can definitely use that Bolt Strike. Yep, that's the only thing that he can do. Bolt Strike. I'm going to promote my Rotom in the active just because I can free retreat. And uh, let's see what I will top deck. I need strong top deck. Oh, N. N is not bad. N is definitely not bad. So let's see what I can get. It will help a little bit my opponent, but uh, there's a crushing hammer and a dual ball, but both of these cards cannot be used. So I helped him a little bit right there with that N. But luckily, at the end, it will help. It will help a lot. So I'm going to devour um, for two, which means that he's going down to three cards, a two when he draw one, and I have huge call risk for like uh, eight cards next turn. And uh, I will just need one Durant actually, an energy. So it will be for seven. It will be for 7. Any kind of even um, Life Dew can help to win this. So there is a top deck revive. I guess it couldn't get better. So I just need right now a single energy and this is pretty much GG for my opponent. So let's roll with the Colrus. Colrus for a lot. Colrus for 8. There is a metal energy, there is a junk arm, so I can definitely use junk arm um, for any two cards. I mean, I don't need, but I can. I can grab one more life dew and uh, uh, another life dew just to revive, just to be 100% sure that we can deck out our opponent. And it's pretty much GG. It's pretty much GG. I actually managed to deck him out. It was close. Definitely, even for my opponent, it was definitely close, but at the end, I actually managed to deck out my opponent and uh, win this matchup, so definitely Durant is a very strong deck for the Legacy format. In my opinion, if you play Legacy with your friends for the casual, or if you actually compete with them, uh, my advice is to uh, run Durant deck and actually surprise them, because it's just way too good. In my opinion, it can win against any kind of deck if you get lucky and if you can get actually live deal pretty uh, pretty early in the game and basically just junk harm, junk harm, junk harm uh, for those live deals and actually have revive, revive and four durands in play. I guess your opponent don't have big chance to win, especially against uh, pretty fast the, uh, the war for like four from turn to turn so you can also um, tech those Cassius and uh, Jess and Cassius or something like that supporter card which actually says that uh, you can flip I guess heads and if you get heads you can discard three cards from your opponent hand but it's supporter card and it's not that good in my opinion Cassius is better because it can actually get rid of uh, all of your opponent item cards from hand so uh, it can definitely be a strong way, especially if you can start uh, turn 1 with the Gatsis. And if your opponent defends with the training cards and item cards, it's it's almost like a GG. So, once again guys, I hope you enjoy watching this um, short video with my Durant 
the legacy deck don't forget to hit the like button and consider to subscribe for uh, to my channel for more future videos if you have any questions don't forget to leave comments below till the next time have a nice day and uh, goodbye